Good day. You a little stuck over there? Hello there. You look like you're about to fall into the water. Enjoy your day. Yeah, he's gonna fall on in, isn't he? I am wondering if more and more and more side quests are gonna mm -hmm. open up from here because there were, what, a dozen side quests? And I think I've only done six of them now. So it seems like a lot of them might open up once you've actually finished the three-part main quest. Tell me. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to look down. The East Empire Company would like to start trading with you. Are you interested? What? The East... what? Trade? But why? Well, they're a little, uh, hungry. They're a little desperate for food. So use that to negotiate a really good price for you. They have an estate, but sometimes food doesn't arrive on time. I... Oh, I think it would be better for you to talk to my wife about this. I just fish. That's what I do. I love him. I really, really like him. Welcome. Hi, let's talk business. The East Empire Company would like to start trading with you. Trading? Well, that's interesting. Keep going. Uh, well, the company has an estate on one of the other islands in the chain, but sometimes food doesn't arrive on time. And what does that have to do with me? Don't you want gold? They would like to start buying your fish. No, that's what I wanted to hear. Tell them to come here, and we will see if we can come up with a good deal. All right. It's a good thing everyone's fine with me barging into their homes in the middle of the night and saying like, Hey, you want to trade? Aw. I didn't realize they were married. Yes. I assume they're married. The East Empire Company would like to start trading with you. Trading? What are we talking about? Trading. You know, food for money. You can use money to buy goods and services. And they want to start trading with me, so that I send them some vegetables. Yeah. Well, of course. I've always wanted to start exporting my goods. Tell them I'm in. But we'll have to talk about the pricing. I like how they're so confused. It's like, trading? What do you mean? It's like... You guys are merchants, you know what trading is, don't you? The farmers and fishermen of Seville are willing to negotiate with you. Oh, that is great. Thank you so much. You're saving my life. Now that I think of it, I think Moreau was looking for you. You should probably go find him. You don't say. Huh? Hey, I heard you were looking for me in between naps. Ah, yes. Since you were looking for work, I thought you could do something for me. We have prepared packages for each and every one of the captains around the docks. I suppose it should be easy for you to deliver them. The Indrik Sap is for the Imperial Captain. The Indrik Feathers are for the Red Guard Captain. And the Indrik Antlers are for the Nord Captain. Oh god. Here you go. I... Uh, hope they don't expect me to remember that. Oh no, oh no, he said I should give the injured feathers too! What did he say? Oh no. <laughs> oh, the mod is messing with me now. The mod's doing this intentionally. Captain? Yes? You wanted the Indrik antlers. Ah, finally. Thank you. Alright, one down, two to go. Because he said Imperial, Red Guard, Nord, and he said Sap, Feathers, Antlers. I'm pretty sure. Good day. Here are some Indrik Feathers for you. Alright, thank you. They gave me two of each in case I mess it up. They gave me a chance to mess it up. Because yes. the captain was like, ah, perfect. The red guard was like, oh, okay. So that made me feel a little bit less confident about that one. Here's some sap for you. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, you know what? We got it. We got it. We got it. It sounds like we got it, at least. 
I do like how he didn't give me the order form, he just said, alright, here you go, remember this, and man oh man, he did not know who he was talking to. Ah, the East Empire Company is back. Although it does sound... What do you sound, have for trade today? It does sound like I got it right, at least. What? It's done. What do you mean, what? I did your work for you. Work well done, friend. I believe Grashen wanted to see you again. He said he has something for you. You should go. And thank you again for the delivery. Mm -hmm. I think he's just paying me out of pocket to do his work for him. He's probably still making a profit. He's probably still, like, net positive money-wise, but... Be quick. He just doesn't want to do it. Can I help you? Oh, 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 oh. Where are you going? Where are you going? We're chatting. We're talking. This is very rude of you. Why did Appius just run in here? How are the food supplies now that the trade with Cephal has started? We have more than enough to survive an entire winter. Thank you again for your help. I heard you have something for me. Ah, yes. Come here. I heard that... Appius? What is it? Well, Appius, yes. what is it? Can I do anything for you? What is it? You have to come down now. There are land drags attacking the docks. Oh. Yes. Uh, Alright. I can do that. Where are you going? Yes. How's that food treating you? It's perfect, it's fresh, it's good, and I'm not hungry anymore. What else could I ask for? If you want some fresh crab meat, listen, there's uh, plenty outside. See you later. I'm gonna roast me some crab. I hear the dregs. I don't see them yet. Oh god, alright. Are you guys gonna help? You guys are just gonna stand there. They're just gonna stand there. They're absolutely just gonna stand there. Hi, welcome to the East Empire Company, where I do all the work. I should talk to Rilly. I should see if she has anything else for me. As long as she survives this, as long as the dregs didn't, you know, murder her, that's all that really matters. To me, at least. Okay, so, similar to last time, yeah, it only checks to see if the, the leader is dead. So you can kill just the leader, not kill the rest, and just go about your day, but I'm not gonna do that, since that could be an issue. That could lead to, you know, the quest breaking... Maybe. Yeah, we still got one drag- Oh, yep, the guards are just running for it. The guards aren't even attempting to help. Man, oh man, what would the East Empire Company do without me? If anything, you guys have to stop paying your guards, because they're really not doing anything. I think they're here for show only. The dregs are a little tanky for my taste, but we only have a few of them at a time. It's not like we have ten of them all at once, but... I feel like this is just a little... much. Because I'm just on Adept right now, anyway. Before I go and tell Grayson... What's going on with you? Let me find really. What do you mean, what's going on with me? You just watched me kill three crab people. I'd like to see you help out. Hello there. What are you up to? Not much. I'm just sorting these grades. Oh, okay. See you around. Report to us if anything happens when you walk on black sand. We were told to keep an eye on it. Can yes. The invasion has been pushed back. We should be safe again. Oh, thank the divines. Alright, now I think it is more than deserved. You have done a lot for us in a very short time. I talked to the factor and he also shares my point of view. We would like to offer you a place as a docker of our warehouse here in the chain. This would include your personal quarters inside the lighthouse as well as your very personal East Empire company attire, like us. Do you accept the offer? I mean... Sure. Uh, why not? It means I have a place to sleep here? Yeah. That is perfect. The paperwork is already done. You can just take the key to your quarters and the outfit. Oh, that makes me happy. I will say it's a kind of funny reward. It's like, oh, you've done so much for us, so we're offering you a job as a dock worker. It's like, that's 
not the reward you think it is. The The room is nice, the board is nice, but... <laughs> it's like I just saved you guys from an invasion that your guards wouldn't even do anything about. Is there anything else I can do to help? I believe it is time to truly test your negotiation aptitudes. Here we go. A Breton merchant is arriving here and we have to strike a deal with him. It would grow the reputation of the warehouse even more. This is what I want. I would do it in normal times, but I have so much paperwork, I am afraid I have to ask you to do it this time. What kind of deal are we talking about? The Breton is selling aged Breton cheese. But that isn't what's important here. He is willing to buy Dwemer artifacts. Cheese for artifacts, huh? Alright, I'll make a good deal. Good luck. You'll need it. Now, no quest has had us go up to the top of the lighthouse yet, but I just want to see it. The steps are a little awkward, or at least they were on the first floor. Seems to be a little bit better. Nope, never mind. I know making stairs is weird, though. Making any non-standard staircase in Skyrim, something about the pathing, something about the collision just gets really, really weird, I know. I wonder if at any point other NPCs make use of this. Maybe they don't because of the fact that the steps are a little awkward. So maybe it's not as functional for NPCs to use it too, too much. It would be cool, though, if I had maybe seen um, people using the little office space and whatnot. But it's not really a huge deal, necessarily. It's a very minor thing. I would have preferred if there was something other than the basement as kind of like the office space for everyone to use. Huh? That probably would have required expanding on the island in general, though, making that larger. So that might have been just a constraint that they had. This is our room. I was going to say in. This is our room that we have. Oh, it's marked as stealing. Oh. Okay, so little bit of a bug. Because I've already been approved for this to be my room. Oh, look, Redguard! Oh, man. Never played it. Uh, maybe someday. Who knows, but... Yeah, so the bed isn't owned, but everything is still marked as stealing. I think one solution here would be if the items were never ever marked as stolen because you need the key to get in here in the first place. So I guess if they were just always marked as, you know, being available to be taken and you just can't get them until, you know, you get the room anyway. Especially since they're laid out on the bed for me and everything. It's like, oh, these are mine. Well, maybe not. It would be interesting if I could recruit really a to See you help around. with this. It'd be really, really cool if I could go to really and be like, hey, I need help with, uh, you know, this assignment. And maybe she could give some pointers or something. For all I know, maybe another docker would offer that. Maybe another docker would make that um, option for me, but just this is something that I think could be cool. Are the cheeses in here? No. Damn. Hello. Hello. I am here to talk about trading together. So I was told. I am looking forward to making a deal with you. Mm-hmm. I export aged Breton cheese, a true delicacy for refined people. What kind of prices were you expecting? I... Oh, no, that is way too low. I didn't say mm. anything. That seems correct. Do we make a deal? Wait, what? That's a very good price. Oh, Shall no. we continue? Uh, d oh, but the quality of the cheese is worth more than that. <laughs> didn't the deal split is split up off. the line. They didn't split up the line that. at all. All right, let's move on. Okay. I would be a fool to refuse such a price. <laughs> all right, let's move on. I want to buy some Dwemer scraps from you. What is your price? 
Oh, should I just click through at this that point? That is too expensive. Okay, I'm just gonna click through. I export through. aged Breton cheese, a true delicacy for refined people. What kind of prices were you expecting? Oh, 10 septums per wheel, 15 septums per wheel, 20 septums per wheel. 15. We're gonna go for the, uh, the middle option. A little bit of a Goldilocks situation here. Hmm, that seems correct. Do we make a deal? Wait. He seemed- he said that seems correct, so why would I... Yeah, I maintain my price at 15. I can agree with that. Alright, let's move on. Okay. What's next? I want to buy some Duomo scraps from you. What is your price? Uh, 30 septums, 20 septums, 10. At 20 septums, we would be turning a profit. That seems fair. Is it your final decision? We'd be... Making, I mean, only five gold per, but when it's 15 versus 20, it's the percentage that you're thinking about. And you have to assume that we're going to be, maybe not trading in bulk, but still, it's, it's a positive. Uh, fine. We have a deal. Okay. Let's see if Gracian hates me for that. Oh, uh, so yeah, there's a bug. Found a bug. They did not split up the uh, the voice line for the introduction, so it was all of their voice lines in one <laughs> continuous file. Yes. Hey, it's done. The deal's made. He talks a lot. What? That's perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, well, now I have more paperwork to do, but it will surely be worth it. The factor wanted to see you. I suggest you talk to him. It seemed to be important. I am hoping that there is some sort of kind of like grand finale to this. Oh, last shipment. I think that'll be it. I was going to say I want there to be a grand finale because it would be this weird thing of, well, you know, we went into the abyss, stopped in time from being unwound by the Thalmor, but now we just come here and talk about trading cheese. Because you can't talk about trading cheese until you save the entire world. It's time to wake up, buddy. Are you enjoying your stay at the estate? Time to wake up. Welcome. What do you think of the trade agreement I made with Seville? You managed to provide decent food for the workers here. Hopefully that means they'll work faster. Does the estate often get attacked by the fauna? Not really. But it happens, just like the drag invasion. But what do you do when I'm not here because your guards really didn't do anything at all? I heard you wanted to see me. Yes, indeed. I've seen what you did for the company and I must say I'm impressed. We're now trading with the Bretons and with Seville. Such a big development in such a short time. Surely the higher ups in the company will witness our growth and our potential in no time. That is thanks to you. I told Rilia she could head back to Skyrim with the shipment of goods from the warehouse. I want you to help her, and to take this gold. It's your payment for your help and everything you've done here. Now go. Really is waiting for you on the docks. Alright. Can I do anything for you? Really? I was told to help you bring some goods back to Skyrim. Indeed. I could use your company. Hop on the boat whenever you're ready, and we'll sail back to Skyrim. Alright. Well, it did say last shipment, so I think this is the uh, the final quest. And you can go back to Skyrim at any time, obviously, and you have to. Uh, to go to the College of Winterhold in order to... Uh, do the Fawn quest. But I guess this is kind of like the main time. It's like, oh, we are done here, and now we return to Skyrim. Or rather, we return to Seville, and then we return to Skyrim. Let me talk to the kid. Who are Good day. I heard you have a music box. And my dad told me you were the one who brought it back. Thank you. It's next to my bed if you want to give it a try. See, there you go. And goodbye. Let me just say a couple goodbyes. Let me just see if anyone else has anything to say. Maybe, um, Nicholas will have something for us. Greetings. Oh, I was hoping I could say goodbye to him at least. Alright. Okay. 
It would be cool if Rilia was made as a potential follower. Even if just like a vanilla follower where she really doesn't have anything other than follow me, like to trade some things, yada yada. It could be nice just to have her Good as day. like a follower beyond the mod. Can I do anything for you? Or, you know, rather once the mod is done, once the questing is done. Rilia? Oh, where... Did she go? Oh. There she is. Hello there. Have a nice day. Good day. I think we're done here. Is everything all right? It sure is. You're free to go. Thank you for helping me. Hello there. Okay, so I can ask her, I can talk to her a little bit more. How are things going at the estate? The estate's alright. Trade is well. And the outpost is gaining some reputation every day. Hopefully we can work with all of Temriel in a few years. And I helped to make that possible. See you around. Thank you for watching The Chain of Time. This was a fun, short but sweet quest mod, with much more emphasis on side quests than the main quest, which, in my opinion, worked to make the mod feel a little bit more lighthearted and low stakes. With a lot of the side quests being more straightforward and low stakes, it serves as a nice contrast to the main quest, which is a bit more grand and world-ending. I do wish that the main quest had maybe been slightly longer, or maybe had some sort of slight epilogue that you would come across towards the end of your work for the East Empire Company, just as a way of tying up your different adventures across the chain. It would have been cool to have either Nicholas or Rilia join you as potential followers at the end of the mod, as they were two of my favorite characters in the end. And while the main quest did end a little bit faster than I would have expected, I still really enjoyed it, and I really liked a lot of the callbacks that we had to different lore and stories introduced in the Elder Scrolls Blades. Voice acting was generally really well done. The only area for improvement would be eliminating some of the background noise for a couple of the actors, but even then it wasn't anything too, too noticeable. Once I got the updated version of the mod with the custom music, I feel like it helped to bring the islands to life a little bit more, and the author really made some good choices for music for these locations. The new models and textures for flora, fauna, armors, and architecture helped the chain feel like it was a world away from Skyrim, but even then, almost everything still felt like it fit into the game. Given that this is Bellatiel's largest mod to date, I think they did a lot of things really well. Designing new world spaces can be really tough, and I like that they opted for smaller islands rather than a giant, barren set of empty islands that are big just for the sake of being big. It's always a tricky balance, but I felt that the smaller, more defined areas for the chain worked really well for the adventures that it provided for us. I'd love to see what else Bellatiel might have in store for us in the future, whether it's more updates to the chain, or even beyond. If anything, I might have to check out some of their other quest mods, if not on YouTube, then over on my Twitch streams. And while I don't often stream Skyrim over on Twitch, I typically stream four times a week in general, and it's always a good time there. I might be a little biased in saying that, though. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time, here on Skyrim Saturday. Bye-bye.